All right, scholars, so I'm going to show you how to make your warm and cool color sun and moon. The very first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your piece of paper and you're going to write your name on it because remember, we always want to write our name on our artwork. And then I'm going to flip my paper over to the other side and I'm going to be working horizontal for this project. Horizontal means side to side. So this is the direction I want my paper to be facing while I'm working. The first material you're going to need um, is a pencil. We will be using colors here in just a little bit when we start to add the color to our project, but we're going to start with pencil. The first thing I'm going to do is draw a big circle. I want it to take up a good amount of space on my paper, but not the entire space. I want to have some room around the edges. It's okay if it's not perfectly in the center. It's okay if it's a little wobbly and not a perfect circle. We're just going to make this work for us. So. Here's my circle, and the first thing I'm gonna do is kind of draw the shape in the middle to separate the moon side, sorry, the moon side from the sun side. So I'm gonna draw a curved line, kind of down the middle like that. Everything on this side is gonna be the moon side, so I'm gonna be using my cool colors on this side, and everything on this side is gonna be the sun side. So my warm colors will be used on this side. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw a face for my sun and moon. And the sun and the moon are actually going to share a face. So here's how that works. On the sun side, I'm gonna start by drawing one eye. If you wanna draw your eye a different way, that's okay, but this is how I draw mine. Draw kind of a circle in the middle and then another little circle here. On the moon side, I'm gonna draw the other side of the eye, but because it's a moon, I'm gonna draw this eye closed like he's sleeping. So I'm gonna draw just a curved line that goes down. If you want, you can add some little eyelashes to show that he is asleep with his eyes closed. Next, I'm going to add some eyebrows and I'll need an eyebrow on each side. Then, I'm going to draw the mouth that kind of goes between. So again, on one side, I'm gonna draw half of the mouth, and on the other side, I'm gonna draw the other half of the mouth. Next, this is the part where you kind of get to decide what you wanna do with your artwork for your drawings. So I wanna add some extra details around the edges that kind of show that this is my sun side and this is my moon side. So maybe on the sun side, I could draw like the rays coming out of the sun. But on the moon side, I don't wanna put rays like that. I wanna do something else that's gonna show that maybe this is the moon side. So maybe on the moon side, I could draw some stars. I could even draw a planet down here. You could even draw some other things like a rocket ship. You could draw some things that show when you're outside in the sun, just some fun things. You can also add extra details just to kind of add something to your design. So on my moon side, maybe I want to draw some dots or some circles. Okay, so I went in and added a few extra details. So on my sun side, I added a melting popsicle. I also added some sunglasses. And on my moon side, I just continued to add a couple extra details like my little rocket ship here and a couple extra stars. So now that I'm finished drawing with pencil, it's time for us to start adding color. For color, you can choose whether you use markers, crayons, or colored pencils. I'm gonna show you a couple different options that you have for colors, but the most important thing to think about is that on the warm side, where my sun is, I'm only gonna be using my warm colors. So remember, my warm colors are colors like red, orange, yellow, pink is included in my warm colors as well. But on my moon side, I'm only going to be using my cool colors. So colors like blue, green, purple, and colors that are kind of close to that as well. So one tip that I'll give you is that it's easier if you start with just one side at a time. So for example, I'm going to start with just my warm side first. So I'm not even going to worry about the moon yet. I'm going to start over here. So the first thing that I like to do is I like to use a marker to do some of the outlines for my warm side. Now, just because this is a sun doesn't mean you have to just color it yellow. Okay, we're going to use all of our warm colors for this project. So I'm going to actually start with red on my sun side. 
and I'm just carefully tracing over where I drew. If I want, I can go back and erase some of those pencil lines later, um, but I'm just gonna use my warm colors to start outlining with marker. Now that I'm finished outlining using marker, I like to go in and use crayons to do the actually coloring in part. So I'm gonna grab some of my warm color crayons. I've got a pink here. I've got some yellow. I've got some orange. Um, I'll go ahead and use those. And I like to color in using crayons. The reason I like to do it this way is so that my lines that are bold and bright kind of stand out and then the parts that I color in um, kind of can go together with the outlines. So now I've completely finished my warm side. You can tell that I covered up most of my white space. There is still a little bit of white space showing, but I used lines and just kind of fun drawings to fill in as much of that space as possible. Also, I encourage you to see what happens when you mix different colors of crayons together. So here, I actually took where I'd already drawn with yellow crayon and I put some orange on top and it kind of created this fun extra details here at the end of my sun. So now that I'm finished with my warm side, I can go ahead and put all of those warm colors away. Oops, one rolled off the table. And I can start on my cool side for my moon. So this is what my completed sun and moon looks like. I also used some of that layering technique I talked about where I layered um, crayon on top of each other to see what kind of cool color combinations I could come up with. So you guys are gonna have the rest of the time to finish your suns and moons. Make sure that on your sun side, you're using your warm colors and on your moon side, you're using your cool colors. Have fun guys.